hey everyone I want to share with you um, some information about me I have an autistic grandson my autistic grandson is five years old he is nonverbal and the only person that he will let touch his head is me so his parents which is my son and his girlfriend they rely heavily on my assistance with him because um, that's my little buddy and he's been attached to me since the day he got out the hospital so this is like my little new my little my little baby so um, yeah they um, are new at parenting my son this is my son's first child and he's a new dad um, and he's never had a child before and his son has autism so this is a new experience for us all so we're all learning about um, autism and we're learning um, the different characteristics and what to expect and how to um, react and give him all of the tools that he needs to progress in life um, no two autistic children are the same that's what I'm learning and my grandson surprises me all the time and he's such a great little kid so I'm just showing you guys me here doing his hair he won't let anyone touch his head um, sometimes he won't let me touch it until we get here to the house and then once he gets settled in and he gets comfortable he'll let grandma touch his head but he will not let his mom comb his hair he won't let his dad comb his hair he has a fit a tantrum and he will fight you <laughs> if you try to touch that hair so um, he doesn't do that with me because he's used to me touching his hair and uh, the way that I have different techniques to keep him calm and to entertain him while I'm doing his hair because I have a lot of patience with my grandson so this is one of the things that I've learned that works with him to uh, allow me to actually do his hair because it took me about three hours to do his hair believe it or not and he actually sat there letting me take his hair loose and redo his twist uh, for three hours that's a long time for an autistic child to sit still so what I did to get him to sit still was I actually took my phone and I put my phone up on the tripod in front of him so that he could see himself and he could see himself in the camera so he was intrigued by watching himself so these are some of the little funny things that he was doing in front of the camera for three hours uh, while he let me twist his hair so yeah I just wanted to share with you guys that um, I do have an autistic grandson and if you guys happen to have any information or any experience with autistic children um, if you would share that with me that'd be great because I'm learning as I go I'm, I'm getting information from everywhere and he does not speak he's nonverbal so he just makes little noises and he's learning how to use his voice so we do know a little sign language um, sometimes he does it sometimes he won't he's not in the mood so he's uh, he has a great little personality so we just kind of have to adapt to whatever mood he's in for the day so that's what I'm doing and I'm learning and I want to share my little buddy with you guys his name is Caden he's uh, nonverbal he's five years old and that's my little buddy yeah so Caden's getting a little restless I'm almost done with this hair um, I'm at the top portion of uh, finishing up his twist. What I'm doing is I want his dad has dreadlocks. So his dad wants him to also have dreadlocks because that's his little mini me. So um, he, I, I'm not sure if uh, I tried before starting his locks with doing the twist, you know, method, but it, it didn't stay. So I'm just starting off his locks with just plaits and then I'm twisting it. I'm doing a palm roll on the ends and um, this seems to be working it I, I, his hair is actually holding pretty good with starting off with the plaits so once he gets some new growth I'm gonna try to incorporate twisting it um, once that new growth um, once I have enough new growth to for a retwist and then I'm gonna use the dreadlock tool and kind of pick at his braids to pull some of the hair out and then I'm gonna twist over the existing portion of his lock that has um, a little bit of braid in it and eventually it'll turn into an entire lock so that's my goal here with his hair because he does not like to get his hair done he won't let anybody else touch his head but me so um, his dad wants him to have dreadlocks so now that he's five I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and try and see if this will hold and this will work because <laughs> little man doesn't like 
you to touch his head, but he'll let grandma touch it. So yeah, so I figured I'd do something that will last a little long longer, which is, you know, the dreadlocks. So let's see what happens. If you guys want to see the progress, um, I can update you guys or, you know, I can make sure I record when it's time for his touch up so that you can see the progress. But he's doing very well. Um, he looks really cute with this little dreadlocks with this little twist because he has very extremely curly hair. So it was really easy to palm twist, uh, to palm roll his, his hair. It was it was really easy. So yeah, so this is just the end um, result. And it turned out really good. Um, it's about a month old now since I did this video. And it still looks really, really good. And it's holding really well. And he loves it because he likes to shake his hair. So he will, you know, periodically just run by you and shake his dreads at you, <laughs> which is really cute. So he likes his hair to have some length, so he enjoys shaking his, his locks at, at you. So, yeah, so we won't cut his hair because he actually likes to shake his hair. So this is the final product. This is what it's looking like. Of course, I can't put him under a dryer because he won't sit. But this is it. Thank <laughs> you.